After years of keeping the world in suspense, Tesla finally commences deliveries of its first semi-truck. Although some other car manufacturers have beaten Tesla to the game by delivering their own EV truck, the Tesla semi-truck still remains the truck of the future. So what are the exceptional features of the Tesla Semi? Will Tesla produce more trucks anytime soon? Let's find out. The semi-truck was initially announced in 2017, and production was supposed to begin in 2019. However, things did not go to plan. These were due to the delays that were caused by COVID-19 and also a global part shortage. Earlier on this year, it was reported that Tesla had set up lines and started production of the Semi outside of Reno. In late November 2022, Elon Musk announced that Tesla's Semi program completed a 500-mile test drive with a total weight of £81,000. This successful test run is a major feat for the future of trucking. Other competitors such as Mercedes, Volvo and Nikola have been unable to achieve this much. Tesla surprised the world a few days ago when it officially delivered the first Tesla semi-truck to customers at an event that took place in the company's Gigafactory in Nevada. These Tesla semis were the final piece of a $30.8 million project, partially funded by California Air Resource Board. One of the pioneering customers that were on the ground to receive the first batch of trucks were representatives from Pepsi. PepsiCo also went ahead to reserve 100 semis for its use. Tesla Semi is an electric Class 8 vehicle produced by one of the most famous EV automakers. While the Tesla Semi had delays in production, other fully electric heavy-duty trucks launched into the market. Competitors like the Volvo-owned Renault trucks and Daimler have also produced and delivered electric heavy-duty trucks to customers before Tesla came on board. Even companies such as Nikola Motors, which has also had its struggles, have succeeded in delivering a hydrogen-powered truck before Tesla. One major difference between Tesla's Class 8 offering and the other heavy-duty trucks is the location of the steering wheel and the driver's seat. Rather than using the left or right-hand side, Tesla designed the semi-truck with the steering wheel in the center of the cab, with touchscreens positioned on both sides of the driver. According to Tesla, the Semi is powered by four independent motors on the rear axles, can accelerate to 0 to 60 in 20 seconds, and has a battery range of up to 500 miles. Prices may start at $150,000, and there have been a number of orders from businesses such as Walmart and FedEx in the low dozens range. In describing the truck, Tesla CEO referred to it as a beast. He also highlighted a couple of features that will make the Semi stand out from its rivals. The truck will have a 1000 volt powertrain architecture and a traction control system which will prevent jackknifing. It will also include regenerative braking for increased battery efficiency and an automatic clutch for seamless highway driving. EVs are fast becoming mainstream, but there are still some matters such as weight restrictions and availability of charging stations that still need to be sorted out before they can be accepted by all. For truck stops, they have to be designed to handle the power needs of an electric tractor trailer and their gigantic batteries. During the event, Musk took some time to talk about the charging and the progress that Tesla has made so far. The billionaire CEO mentioned that Tesla has developed a new liquid-cooled charging connector capable of delivering 1 megawatt of direct current power. The new fast charging technology will eventually be installed at Tesla supercharging stations and used to power up Cybertrucks, the consumer pickup truck that Tesla is planning. The company also plans volume production of the sharp-edged heavy pickup at its new factory in Austin, Texas. Elon Musk further revealed that the actual mission of Tesla is to accelerate the advent of sustainable energy. So that's the reason they were making this wide range of cars that don't really make much sense from a brand standpoint. Elon Musk has a passion for trucks, as these are a major part of his plans to expand the company's lineup to cover all forms of terrestrial transport. The Tesla Semi event was significant because it has one of many promises that Elon Musk is actually coming through with. It's also helped to eliminate the fear that most Tesla fans were worried about that Musk would no longer be very committed to his electric vehicle business. This perception came from his latest investment, which is the social media platform Twitter. The billionaire bought Twitter earlier on this year in October for a whopping sum of $44 billion. Musk went all out to complete his purchase and even sold some of his Tesla shares to get more finance for the deal. 
Musk reiterated the need for everyone to switch to electric vehicles by pointing out that 15 million passenger vehicles and about 200,000 heavy duty trucks were in the United States alone. This might not seem like a huge percentage until you take into consideration their size, weight and how long they are being driven for. These emissions have long term effects on the health of people living close to warehouses and roadways. These are the places that often experience higher trucking activity. According to statistics given by the American Lung Association, medium and heavy duty vehicles contribute to about 6% of the on-road fleet in the US as of 2020. These vehicles generate an outsized amount of pollution, including 59% of ozone and particle forming nitrogen oxide emissions and 26% of greenhouse gas emissions from transport. Musk has said that the semi would not only help combat climate change, but it is also quiet, will improve the quality of the air, and will improve the health of people living near freeways. Tesla have stated that it will begin using the semi truck to ship parts between its plants in Fremont, California. The same fact also applies to other electric, heavy duty trucks that replace diesel trucks. Although we are all pretty excited that the Tesla semi has finally been delivered, we are also noting that Elon Musk failed to answer a lot of the questions at the event. He did not say how much the semi truck weighs, nor did he state its horsepower, torque numbers, price or battery capacity. As at 2017, Tesla said that the 300 mile range version of the semi would be sold at $150,000 and the 500 mile version was $180,000. But Tesla's passenger electric vehicle prices have increased greatly since then. Musk has also hinted in the past that the prospect of the semi-truck being fully autonomous was very high. Surprisingly, Tesla did not provide details on how Tesla's driver assistance system would function in the semi-truck. As for the batteries, the billionaire revealed other details. Musk says that it uses inverters, drive units, power electronics, HVAC and infotainment from other Tesla models. Musk went on to say that the semi uses three plaid motors. Priestley also noted convenient features like a suspension drop to make hooking up a trailer easier and an automatic light test to make sure your lights are working. These features, Priestley says, are to make driving the semi really easy. Information gathered from the Tesla website shows that the semi truck comes with an active safety feature that works with advanced motor and brake controls to deliver traction and stability in all conditions. These in-cab safety technologies can also reduce collisions, potentially even those attributed to distracted driving or driver fatigue, which should reduce auto insurance claims costs and eventually premiums. Contrary to his usual style of taking questions, Musk did not entertain any questions at the end of his speech. So, what do you think about the Tesla semi-truck? Does it stand a chance against the existing heavy duty trucks? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to get more updates like this one. And as always, thank you very much for watching.